I'm Trent Albers, and this is Explore Papillion. Today, we're checking out the Papillion Farmer's Market. The Papillion Farmer's Market happens every Wednesday evening throughout the summer in Papillion City Park. The market features fresh produce, locally made products, as well as hot food and cold treats from an array of area vendors. The market is organized by the Papillion Recreation Department. I'm here with Alexis. Uh, Alexis, tell me about the farmer's market. It's uh, 17 weeks this season, so we run till September 29th every Wednesday here at the City Park from 5 to 8 p.m. Um, we have our seasonal vendors, so they're here every week, and then we have weekly vendors, so it's a little bit different every week. So how many vendors do you have? Give and take on the week, we have around 42. So I think people are excited to get out and about, um, but also we have a good variety of vendors this year, a lot of homemade goods as well as produce, um, which is a big need at the market. So we just have returning customers. A lot of our vendors say people come back and make sure they're gonna be back the next week because they have a lot of loyal customers. So okay, so, so produce, you said home-baked goods, homemade goods. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, vendors like our Papio Fibers, she hand dyes her fibers. Um, here we have Jillian's Fairy Houses, so she makes oh, houses cool. for fairies. Um, we have Colors the Clown, she does face painting of blue animals. Cotton candy is a big hit, they have huge things of cotton candy. You have Del Rio, you can get warm food. Our deviled egg food truck is new this week, um, so they have different flavors of deviled eggs. What's the neatest thing about having this farmer's market in Papillion? The most unique thing is that we get to have it in the park. A lot of farmer's markets you go to are in the parking lots on the hot asphalt. And here you get to be within the trees and it's just kind of more of a community tight-knit feel and a lot of people will come just for the atmosphere of it being in the park. And then you can bring the kids down, the playground's right over there. Yep, and we do like to have, this week we don't, but we usually have like bags or ladder golf out. Um, the idea is to have it as a event for the night, not just come in and grab mm -hmm. some green beans and leave. Um, we want you here, and we have seen that a lot of people will be here for several hours looking around. So that, that's the goal of the market, to make it a Wednesday night activity. It's called cinnamon produce. My wife and I do it by ourselves. And okay. We grow it all and uh, bring it here, certified organic uh, vegetables. And uh, we also have fruit trees, so we'll bring some of that later on. Okay. And uh, we love this park here. This is my first year. Okay. Look, at the, look at the parking. It's just great. Oh, yeah. The kids can come and enjoy the place. They have activities. And so I'm loving it. You guys have a, a lot of produce here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> For us, we just focus a lot on trying to keep it as fresh as possible, especially all of the vegetables here anyways. And then we also focus on flowers too. To give people an idea of when they're getting their fresh picked stuff, how long ago did you guys uh, pick all this stuff? So today, for the Wednesday markets, we picked them this morning. Okay, yeah. very cool. So then, it's like you yeah. get them right out of the garden, yes, basically. Yes, we do. Very we do sell our, our cattle and our pigs, like by quarters or halves in that way too. So we have the processing dates already, and okay. then they, uh, our customers just purchase whatever share they want, and then we take it to the processor for them, and then we deliver it to them once it's completed. What's so great about being able to get meat directly from the farm? Value for one thing okay. and quality. We will have a, a high choice or almost prime product for you know a better price. Than the store. Okay. Finding that that product at the store is very difficult. Okay. If I'm coming here, I'm like, I want the best cut of meat that you guys got. What do I need to get? Well, we're we're different on that. <laughs> I I would say the ribeye. Ribeye or a fillet. Okay. So I am 13 and I own this business because my parents on their own and so it's kind of like a, you should uh, start your own business. And okay. So I kind of took that like seriously like oh okay then I will. And so it started off as my uh, my mom and me just kind of making all this stuff and now I do make all of this by myself Okay. and now I have the corporate. Do you guys have one of the more unique booths at the farmer's market here? 
Uh, tell okay. me about your booth. Tell me what you do. I've been making fairy garden items for over 10 years. Everything is handmade. It all starts a ball of clay. I hand sculpt it and then I fire it in my kiln. <laughs> I've been uh, sculpting clay for over 20 years. So.